Well, good morning, YouTube world, and uh, I want to thank Don't Burn the Pig for asking me to do a Savage Axis hunting upgrade video. Um, I've been working on these for a while for friends. I got one for myself. I want to show you just six simple upgrades that uh, I think will make your Savage Axis a little better. What I've got here is a uh, an Axis. It was an XP. It came with Weaver equipment, and uh, I took that off. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why. Um, it's in a, you see it's a long action, it's in a 30-06, not necessarily that you shoot a 30-06, it's just what I chose for uh, myself and what I'm going to be hunting. Now a lot of people, there's a lot of ways to hunt, there's a lot of things you want to hunt, you need different equipment. I want to talk about a little bit of parameters real quick before I start on these six. Uh, accuracy is so important, and for me, uh, in a hunting rifle, if you've got one inch MOA, that's accurate. Um, it needs to be rugged, and for this this gun today, it really needs to be, for me, I, everything I shoot's within 150 yards. My other rifle, for 12 years, I've had the same 7mm 08. It's kind of an all-around rifle. Try to use it for everything, and I have used it for everything. Well, this is really just for the woods, uh, just for hunting within 150 yards. And another thing is, this needs to be value. I, I, you can pay what you want, uh, but does it increase your ability uh, in the woods. Uh, I just, <laughs> there's some price points there and I'm gonna talk about those. So let's go, here we go. First of six upgrades, the stock. If you know Savage Axis, you know they don't come in this emerald green. But one, one upgrade on the stock I would give you, yes, you can buy a Boyd, yes, you can, you can buy a, a Bell & Carson, a Magpul, uh, whatever, but the stocks are slick. And if you get some textured paint, uh, here's Rust-Oleum, they make it in, Krylon makes it as well. It adds a little bit of grippy to it, which is so much better. Just so much better. Because Don't Burn the Pig is such an artist. First time I've ever used anything called marbleizing spray. <laughs> kind of artistic here. Uh, but I like it, I like it. Um, I put a little bit of matte finish on, no, I put two heavy coats actually of matte finish on. And it's pretty, it's, it's good, it's good. I, I went hunting yesterday morning. And if I had to do it again, I think instead of using forest green, I would choose the uh, dark brown texturized paint. It would look better, a little bit brown. Uh, so in a couple of years when I wear this out, I'll, uh, I'll switch over to, to brown. Yes, you can buy Boyd's. Yes, you can uh, bed the pillars, action screws. Yes, you can uh, bed the fore end. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's all these things you can do, but it's if you can get this gun to one inch MOA, uh, it just costs more money. Second upgrade, go to Ace Hardware, get some grip tape. I call this boat decking tape. I don't know what they called it. It was a $1.90 a foot, I think, uh, from Ace Hardware. Wherever there's a recess in your, in your gun and wherever your fingers might go, that's where I put it. Um, I've put some here. I've put some here on this side where my, my fingers wrap around, and I've put a little bit up in the front where my thumb goes. I'm a right-handed shooter. Uh, I don't like it all over my, my my stock. I've seen people that put it in different places. I know you might have a a, a Glock or, or such that has all that, that tacky around. I have one. I like it on a Glock, not on my rifle. I like my hand to slide sometimes on parts of it when I'm moving it. Sometimes I have gloves on. This is tacky. It does catch. You want it really where, the, where, the, where your fingers uh, attach to the rifle. Third upgrade, cheek rest. I was kind of leery of these for years, but I never go out without one. Uh, I grew up bird hunting. I grew up shooting skeet. You know with your shotgun how important fit is. Uh, this really helps fit the rifle. Makes my cheek and my face come up at just the right spot every time. A couple thoughts on this. Uh, you, you, can, you can buy some that slip over. I think bear tooth or bear head products. You can buy some of the Velcro ones that slip around. This is a plastic stock. I like this nice and hard. I like this um, firm. It, it paints well. I know I didn't paint it with my rifle, but this is a really, really up, has improved my shooting. It has, both at the range, practicing, and in the woods. Uh, they, it comes with two and a quarter inch. These are furniture screws. Uh, I replaced them, I went to Ace, and for 96 cents I got two of the same screws, but in two inches. The two and a quarter will fit back here. You know, the, the Axis has such a narrow, thin stock, uh, butt stock. Uh, I just replaced them. I used to, for my buddies, I would cut off the screw, and then I'd have to kind of re-thread them, and it's just a hassle. 
for 96 cents you can get some other screws replace them they won't catch here it's, it's either flush or it's just under the head it's a, it's a really nice upgrade and I think if you start to shoot and practice to these you'll get very you'll get very attached to them next upgrade and that's something I have not this is an upgrade I have not done yet on this rifle is the trigger um, I'm gonna give you three options um, there's affordable accuracy has one this is what I got from them there's a group called and that's fifteen dollars there's a group called M Carbo or something like that and that's uh, twenty dollars for a trigger or you can spend a hundred with Timney uh, yeah I love a Timney trigger that's what's on my other rifle um, I install them for my friends I but if we're trying to keep costs down um, I wanted to shoot with this factory trigger now on this you're gonna if you if you pay attention to axis you're gonna say that's an axis look at that it's got a spacer in here and the and the fore end is different the barrel channel is different than on my axis well in late 2018 they've come out with a little bit different stock I also noticed on this rifle that the trigger pulled much easier than on previous axis um, I don't have a gauge for that I just really do everything by feel but I know it pulled easier so I went out and I wanted to shoot it before I in put in a new trigger here's what I did yesterday morning um, my first three shots eh, almost right at an inch and then four five and six I had a guy next to me shooting a, a, some kind of cannon and every time he'd shoot it my teeth would rattle so I just wanted out of there so after I got it on paper um, these were my last six shots and even if you take your five for an MOA that's that's what that's an inch and a half uh, not bad not not bad but I promise you once you once I upgrade the trigger that's going to shrink considerably and you uh, and this gun this $300 gun with a $60 rebate is going to shoot sub 1 inch uh, with factory lows this is the cheapest Walmart had like i don't know $17 a box $16 a box just some really cheap ammo uh, and you can do better you can certainly do better so the trigger is very important i don't have it the barrel pulled out and the action pulled out to show you how to do that. There's plenty of videos for everything I'm doing that you can see elsewhere. All right, uh, the next piece, the rings. I, you know, you got weaver bases, you got uh, weaver rings, and, and the weaver scope came with it. This is a hunting rifle. This needs to be rugged. I just have never found anything better than a DNZ one piece. And if I'm going to have a hunting rifle, I know there's a lot of good options out there. There's a lot of good equipment out there. But I'm going to use a one piece every time, and uh, DNZ is my choice. Uh, there's again, there's some others, but for, this is a fifty dollar. This is an expensive upgrade, you know. So far for paint, you get for paint and tape twenty dollars. The Kydex uh, cheek rest thirty dollars. Um, so we're at fifty dollars more here. I'm 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 looking at. Uh, fifty dollars for the rings and again this is an opinion piece which I'll get to the scope you're really gonna get some opinions I would encourage you to look at a one-piece set uh, I have one of these on my last rifle I I didn't have to move the scope for seven years uh, and you know good quality guard optic good rings it held zero for seven years uh, and it was great all right now since it is an ed op piece I'm really gonna maybe set some get some comments in the bottom is you do not need, this is the sixth upgrade, you need something better than the Weaver that comes with it. You need something that's rugged. You need something that'll hold up. I'm even going to go further and say, for anything inside 150 yards, the most you need is a 2x7. Now, if you get a scout rifle, I, I don't think those are good. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. This is not that kind of a, a video. But you need an upgrade of a rugged scope, and it needs to be 2x7 because... At 150 yards, you need to keep the object that you're shooting in the field of vision. This 35, or I think it's a 38, 32, 33, 35 um, optic lens gives me a good field of vision so that I can keep the animal in sight. Uh, I, I chose a Burris because I just love this optic, and they're rugged. Uh, if it wasn't a Burris on a 2x7, there's a couple other 2x7s that are rugged enough that, that I would encourage you to look at. Certainly the Leupold has the new VX Freedom, and uh, Nikon has the has a 2x7, but they don't have, well, you don't want a BDC reticle for something this close, but their Nikon Plex, I think, is the reticle there. Everybody has their favorite magnification. Everybody has their favorite reticle, their favorite company. Uh, I'm really going to step on your toes and say, listen, a 2x7 will make you a better shooter. 
inside 150 yards, and I'd encourage you to look at that. So that's really it. I, I uh, last thing I'll say is this: you want to get better, you want to get more accurate, and so we all do, and certainly I do with this with this gun. I think for a hunting rifle, anything under one 150 yards, this is what you need. I would feel comfortable shooting this up to 300. Why? Because of the ballistic plex that Burris gives out and practice. I can't stress enough that practice will make you a much better shot. Uh, all in, so this is less than 200 for both of these pieces. Uh, 50 there, so I sell that. Uh, tax and everything, I'm, I'm right at $500 for an incredibly accurate, incredibly rugged, long-lasting tool that I'm going to use for many years. Appreciate you watching. I appreciate Don't Burn the Pig asking for this. I'll, be for, I'll look forward to reading your comments at the bottom.